Yeah, Uncle Danny, come on by. Yeah, man, I got some cocaine. Man, I do a few lines with you. That's why I got a couple of hookers. Hell, I'll fucking smoke with you. I said, put your goddamn dog up because that motherfucker bites me every time I come over. Oh, don't worry about it, dog, man. Just come on and knock on the door and come on in. I said, all right, make sure your goddamn dog's put up. I said, because I'm tired of being bit now. All right, I get over there. His old lady, her name's Tawala. <laughs> I call her Chihuahua. <laughs> and I said, Chihuahua. I said, put that goddamn dog up. That dog's at home. Come on in. It ain't going to do nothing. I said, all right, I done told you what I'm going to do now. I walk off in that mother. That's when Uncle Danny has fucking teeth. And I walked off in that motherfucker. And that motherfucker went right over and bit me on my motherfucking leg. And just kept on. Like I was going to run or something. I reached down that someone bit me on my hand. I shoved it right to the fucking floor and held it. I figured it held on the fucking floor and that's somebody bit me on my hand too. And I wrapped both my hands around that motherfucker and I reared that motherfucker up and I held its fucking mouth away from me and it was biting the fuck out of me. I bit that motherfucker's goddamn ear and let me tell you what, I bit a hole through that motherfucker's ear. Boy, I made sure that motherfucker remembered who the fuck I was, you know. He remembered who I was when I come in by biting me. But hey, <laughs> You bet your goddamn ass. After I bit that motherfucker, that son of didn't want no more fucking of me. That motherfucker realized what the fuck was up. It breaking the skin ain't nothing like getting holes punctured through your fucking ears. And I about bit that son of off. And when I fucking bit it, I slung that son of across the fuck floor about seven foot. Smacked that goddamn wall in their house. Knocked the picture off the fuck thing. You ain't seen a goddamn man and a woman called Chihuahua. <laughs> Fucking go to screaming like goddamn Indians over. Oh, get out of my goddamn house, Rob motherfucker. I can't believe you did that. So I told y'all motherfuckers to put that goddamn dog up now. So I told y'all last time that so much bit me a week ago. Next time it bit me, I was biting that motherfucker back. I said, what'd y'all do when I told y'all that? I said, y'all fucking laughed. And I said, hell, y'all ain't laughing now. And I said, what did I do to that fucking dog? I bit that motherfucker back. I said, goddamn, fuck that shit. I said, you're lucky I didn't kick that motherfucker and break his fucking ribs or his back or something. But I said, I'm telling you, I said, that motherfucker won't bite me no more. I said, I bet you couldn't melt that goddamn dog and pour that motherfucker on my leg. <laughs> hey, you bet your ass I was banded from their house for a long, long, long time. <laughs> like I gave a fuck. I pull up in their fucking driveway out there and ribbed the goddamn old Camaro I had. Bang, bang. <laughs> that motherfucker, that dog look over there and say who the fuck I was. Hey, that motherfucker take that chain it was hooked to when it was outside. Motherfucker take that goddamn chain, bubba, and choke itself trying to get as far as that motherfucker let it go. <laughs> I, I'd get out and I'd just eyeball that motherfucking dog. I'd stare at some that motherfucker wouldn't even hardly look at me. That's so much of whimper and shit turn its fucking head. I'd laugh over my brother, ex brother in law, that's what it was. He come out there, man, I'm gonna call up goddamn right now, you got this dog all scared and you know, it's that and other. No, you know the old lady don't like you no more. And I said, I don't like that bitch from the beginning. You know, what the fuck you think? Yeah. Like, you know, it matters if I sleep good or not. If that bitch likes me, I said, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you know, and I said, fuck your dog too. I said, you see what's up? I said, motherfucker, stand up around here. I said, y'all used that sissy fight shit. I said, Bob, I said, I'll tell you a couple of times, but I said, if you can't fucking hear, I'll clean your goddamn hair now. You know, so I'll be fucking around. You know. Think Uncle Danny's fucking a pussy or, or a punk or whatever. I ain't made it yet. Hey, that motherfucker, he'd want to pull over to the next house there, which is half a house, you know, motherfucker, just to smoke a fucking joint. But you couldn't get that dog to bark one time at me. <laughs> hey, that motherfucker rains hell all the time now. I swear to God, it did. Mean motherfucking dog. But like I was saying, motherfucker ain't, ain't never had his ass whooped. You know what I mean? Ain't never been put in check. And that's what I did. You know, I let it get along there a few times, and it just thought it was bad, and they never had no problems with it biting people. Oh, it's at home. It's at home. I still don't invite people over here if your fucking dog's going to bite them. You know, put your fucking dog up. But they couldn't understand that shit, and I reckon they thought, you know, just because it's been doing it all its life, and they'd laugh. Ha, 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 bitch, hit me out of you. You know, they thought it was something. The motherfucker, I bet they still tell that goddamn story about me. <laughs> that was years ago. Uncle Danny did a rock. I reckon all I can tell you is the moral of this fucking story is don't fuck with shit because you think you can fuck with shit. <laughs>
Because the thing about it is, like fucking what fucking Bruce Lee used to say, boards don't hit back. You know what I mean? So yeah, if you want to fuck with something, you better fuck with boards and shit that don't hit back. In that case, shit that don't bite back. And all I'd say is, I'd have fucking brought a bigger dog over to eat that motherfucker up if I hadn't had teeth. <laughs> you think I'm lying. But I had to prove my point. And you know, just like I said, I'll bite that motherfucker back, and I did. I swear to God, that motherfucker there, I guarantee them teeth. I guarantee you, that motherfucking dog there bit less people in its fucking life. I'm sure it ain't around no more. You know, it's been a while back. But I don't play no stupid shit. You know what I mean? Motherfucker, you touch me, I touch you back. You know, you don't like it, I don't like it. <laughs> Who gives the boys down here in the south? We don't be playing that stupid shit. You know, you don't come over there sick any dog on my motherfucking ass. You know what I mean? I'll shoot that son of a bitch. <laughs> and it wasn't a poor episode of mission sicking on nobody, but. That was allowing it to bite people and not putting it up and thinking it was funny. So, like I said, the moral of the story is, don't fuck with shit you think you can fuck with. Because sometimes you get way more fucking more than you ever fucking want. You know, us other boys don't play no stupid shit. Motherfuckers, they'll find your ass about 150 fucking years from now over here in Marquette. swear up and down, you fucking alien. <laughs> That's what they find you because you'll probably be goddamn uh, swine shit. You know, or pig shit, whatever you want to call it. Fucking joking, just ask old Bobo Kirby down there in fucking Georgia. Motherfucker, you lucky. That's like them women. If it wasn't for that fucking wet spot, they got shit. Them motherfuckers, they'd be hung up on the goddamn wall like deer head. <laughs> Where'd you get that redhead, Bobo? Oh, I caught that son of a bitch up there, you know, eating from my feeder, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know how we are. We just funny about shit, but either fucking way. I didn't fuck talk about them goddamn dogs, man. Motherfucker, I couldn't stand that shit. I had a cousin that had a dog the same goddamn way. And he liked to sick it on you. But I feel go that motherfucker one time, and which it was years and years. It was, I was a teenager. I feel go that motherfucker. I kicked that son of a plump through the goddamn house. And man, him liked to get in a fight, but I told him, sick it so much on me again. And I said, I'll fucking kill that dog. And uh, all I can tell you is, he never sicked his goddamn dogs on me ever again. Because I told him, Bubba, man, you fucking fight. You know, if you don't like it. But anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to do my little famous growl there from Me Machine. He likes that. Give my original growl. Rawr! Uncle Danny loves y'all. Peace. Deuces. Subscribe, everybody. Get your friends to subscribe. Come on over here. Uncle Danny, he's trying to get on stage. <laughs> All right. Love y'all. Rawr!